you I have a bird ready with you so I don't know I was doing all by making the pork shells and then but I got the month of November and early December and a book haul at the end of December as for I asked for books for next week and I asked for books mainly because I don't really have that many books I just started reading again and I really love it and haven't read the Harry Potter series yet and I started that this year. I'm enjoying reading that for the first time and I just cannot wait to get started on book two because it's very lengthy. So yeah, let's start off with the bookshelf tour. Okay, so here I just have like a quick little overview of my reading corner and I'll just jump right into my bookshelf. So I have four One Direction books and then I have the sixth book, The Moral Instruments. Um, I have this ginormous Alice Wonderland, and I love the cover. Um, I Want to Be, which my aunt gave to me a while ago. Still haven't read that. Um, my Samantha American Girl books, which I read when I was really little. Then I have Love Letters to the Dead, The Fault in Our Stars. Um, another Alice in Wonderland, a book called Twelve that I had when I was younger. Um, Chocolate for a Teen Heart, which I read younger too. Peter Pan, Two Lord of the Rings, first and second. Great Gatsby, 4th, 5th, and 6th of the Kingdom Keepers. Um, Withering Heights, 3rd, 4th book of Harry Potter. Um, Mother Daughter Book Club, a Demi Lovato quote book. Uh, two Judy Moody books, Little Women, Wicked, and Catch Another. And then I have my book stand thing, are London Inspired. That is just an overview of my bookshelf. Okay, so now that I have done my book tour, I'll do my book haul. So these are the books that I either acquired, bought, or were given during the month of November and early December. I have three books on here that I did get last week. I'm doing a huge Christmas book haul, so November book, a November book haul, and that will just be my dedicated Christmas book haul. So let's get started. So the books that I bought in the month of November and right after my birthday actually is I got the fourth Harry Potter book which is huge but I mean I have read bigger so not too worried about that but Fire with Fire is my Bob of Fire and I have not started reading it yet I'm still in the third I am really excited to read it and I started reading this because my friend who is a huge Harry Potter fan I am taking her to Universal in Florida in three years so I was like I need to get reading. I got the third book, which is Hammered in high school, and I didn't have time for anything in my backpack. But yeah, so I got the third book, and I am really close to being finished. And then I got Love Letters to the Dead. And I actually, I don't remember where I saw this. I believe I saw it on a girl's interest that she had wanted books. And I read the inside, I found it really interesting. I'm excited to read this. I am reading my series books right now, so when I get Harry Potter, I'll probably start reading my single books, but I think this is going to be on my uh, TBR eventually, so hopefully I can get to TBR. I'm really excited. And then I had to get the classic Peter Pan because I all the time see stuff on Pinterest and Tumblr talking about the real Peter Pan book, and it's always different to me, so I kind of want to read it to find out what's true or not. I really want to read this. It seems interesting to me. So those are all the books that I purchased right after my birthday. So that was probably late November, early December. And then these are the books that I bought last week. And I got Wicked. And it's small, so it's huge. It's really thick. It's because I got the smaller version. I have always been obsessed with Wicked. And I've always wanted to see the play. It's always so much money to go here where I live. So I've looked everywhere for the book, and I actually found it at this new used bookstore downtown for me called Eboard Book, and that place is gigantic. I could spend hours in there. They have a main level, a top level, and then a basement. It's like huge. Like all the shelves are just filled with books. That's all you see is books. So I bought that there, and then I bought Withering Heights, and I actually bought this book because... My favorite fan fiction, After, has a bunch of references in this book. So 
I have been dying to read it because I love that fan fiction. I have to read this. Fan fiction actually is, has been published. I believe the first and second book are out now. I had to pick that up because of that reason. I rambling. Okay. Uh, next I got Little Women. I uh, just love classic books for some reason. I got the book and it was $4.50. Oh, this is still, I am going to buy this. And then the books that I was given during this time, I got The Catcher of the Rye. I believe that she had forever kind of classic books that I've all enjoyed reading. And then I have the first Lord of the Rings, which my mom used to read to me when I was little. So I've always loved Lord of the Rings. Always have. Always will. I see the second or third Hobbit yet. I'm a terrible person. I have no time. But, um, so I have this and I absolutely love it. And I also have the second one. She gave me the second one. So I'm just missing the third book, and I really want to get the third book. So this is my giant second book that I got. So yeah, I got these late November, early December. Oh, that happened. Okay. So that was my book haul and book tour. Hope you enjoyed. I'll put links down to my favorite booktubers. Please comment and tell me what I should change and what I should do next because. I have no idea. I know I want to do my Christmas haul, but that's about it. Hit the subscribe button, because that would really make my day. And if you like this video, share it so more people know about me. Bye!